you may remember this unit from previous videos. I built this back in 2016. It's a 24 volt roll around solar power generator system I keep in the bedroom with 1000 watts of solar panels attached. It's got four batteries in it. There's 1000 watts of solar panels on the backyard pergola facing the west. And what I did is I ripped out the original batteries I bought three and a half plus years ago and ordered four new batteries for this system. And I went with the Battleborn 100 amp hour 12 volt lithium batteries, bought four of them, doing an initial charge right here. And I've got these wired in series, series, parallel, and reutilized a lot of the stuff I had on the inside and why mess with a good thing right did some modifications here good much better airflow in there now too all right nice and early getting to work on this 24 volt roll around transportable solar power generator battery charger system and inverter I've got a helper here this morning so doing some morning tweaks Replace the battery in the smoke detector. Push light's good to go. <laughs> she really wants to help. And the best part of waking up, Folgers in your cup, right? Uh, is I reinstalled this battery tender battery charger. It's a 24 volt deal. The charging parameters are should be okay for lithium. Um, we'll see. <laughs> But uh, I, I used to have it down here on one screw. I just kind of left it. It got kicked around with the shoes and stuff. So I mounted it up high with a little bit of ventilation to keep it cool. It's a solid unit. And it just plugs in right here with an SAE 2 pin. And it's got everything corded up real nice. Yellow means that it's charging. Green means that it's fully charged. So right now the batteries are taking a 2.5 amp charge which is about what 65 70 watts going in I have to get the meter out and check it ground is good got this all attached so this, for safety and battery voltage is coming up a little bit I reset the optional meter MT4 or whatever the hell this is to get this all ready to go for today June 14th, 2020, as you can see, the correct time. And this is what I want to watch, day energy kilowatt hours, how much I can harvest off the solar panels. I should get about five kilowatt hours. And I've got about 4.8 kilowatt hours in batteries. And what I did here is I hooked up the kilowatt meter. So this thing's gonna, this is for the air conditioner right here. So I'm going to see how much power for one duty day, essentially, one cooling day, how many kilowatt hours I pull from the system. But I can tell you right now, if I go all the way down, use all 4.8 kilowatt hours in battery, there's no way I can charge and run at the same time. Uh, it'll be like at a, it'll, it'll charge because I'm getting about 750 watts off that 1000 watt array and this air conditioner uses right around 500 watts when the compressor's on so it'd still be charging but it'd take a lot longer um you know another i'd be happier with another i don't know 400 to 600 more watts of solar panels <laughs> really be kicking butt and better placement but when you have a dinky little suburbia backyard it's kind of hard to do that so all right, good to go. I like this part right here. Oh, oh. Now we can see what you're doing. And I didn't make a lot of significant changes to this unit because, to be honest with you, I kind of took my time building it and rebuilding it years ago. And I like the way that it looks and works. And it's never conked out on me, especially this Go Power. I still like to get another unit. Uh, the Victron inverter charger isn't working because I can't communicate with it with the computer to load up the parameters 
whereas this is just basically drop and plug and play type deal it's been bulletproof this go power 1500 watt but it really needs a 2000 watt inverter pure sine wave to work properly i'm looking at samlex and ames kind of about the same size flat you know so good damn it's a good unit all right have a great sunday and we'll see you next time